Hello, young historians. Today, we will embark on a journey to uncover the secrets of the U.S. Constitution. Let's see how the pieces of the Constitution fit together to shape the government we have today. In a land not too far away, 13 states made up America. But the people there faced a big puzzle. How to create a government that would be just, protect them, and be controlled by the people. Remember, the United States created its first government in the Articles of Confederation in 1777. It loosely unified the states, but this new national government lacked some key powers. The federal government was too weak. Problems emerged because of this weak national government. Many began to think this could threaten the survival of the new nation. Men like James Madison, George Washington, and others put their heads together to solve the puzzle of how to keep the states independent, but unite the states more under a stronger central government. Imagine a room in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, filled with brilliant minds like James Madison, Benjamin Franklin, and George Washington. They were the problem solvers, brainstorming ideas to craft a brand new kind of government. These men had a big job to do. They were the architects of our nation's future, putting their heads together to build something incredible through long and hot summer days and nights, these men talked, disagreed, debated and argued with each other, slowly finding common ground and compromises. These ideas were like puzzle pieces, fitting together to create something great. One of their important discussions involved the legislative branch or Congress. This branch of government would make the laws. In 1787, one important question was how many representatives each state got to have. States with less people tended to support an even distribution of representatives, each state getting the same number. Many larger states preferred allocating representatives based on population. So states with more people would have more representatives. Southern states also wanted their enslaved populations counted toward representation. A compromise was achieved. This is often called the Great Compromise. Both sides got some of what they wanted. The plan for equal representation for states would be enshrined in the Constitution through the Senate, with two senators per state. The plan for representatives, based on population, would come to life in the House of Representatives. This compromise included counting every five enslaved individuals as three people for counts of population. These two branches would make up the legislative branch. In 1787, after much debate and collaboration, like the Great Compromise, they signed the Constitution. Let's flip through the Constitution's pages to see how it assigns and limits government powers. The Constitution created three branches of government, just like three puzzle pieces. The legislative branch makes laws through the Senate and the House of Representatives. The executive branch enforces them, and the judicial branch examines the law. Imagine a scale that keeps things balanced. Each branch watches over the others so they don't become too powerful. This is called 
checks and balances. This was the remarkable tale of the U.S. Constitution and its role in shaping our government. Like a puzzle, its pieces were shaped to fit together to define our government and unite our country. Our story for today ends here, but the story of history is still being written by us. Keep exploring and see how you and your learning community fit into this puzzle.